Joining me on the phone, actor and Trump supporter, Scott Baio. Scott, we're very glad that you're here. Thank you for the time. So My pleasure. We didn't get to speak uh, earlier, but Trump's response to the Brussels attack, is this one of the reasons that you plan to vote for him? Yes. Um, the thing is this. If we don't identify, name these people, if we don't go after them and start attacking them and eliminating, eliminating them, it's just going to keep happening. This government doesn't want to do anything about it. We just sort of you know, close a blind eye to it, and we don't want to, we don't want to go after them. You know, the, 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 the Constitution is not a suicide pact. We have laws here. We have immigration laws here. We have rules that we all have to abide by. Should we at least know who's in our country? These people are coming west. And, and we seem to be playing footsie with it. I can, and I cannot – I have an 8-year-old daughter. And I cannot understand this. And Trump, to me, is the only guy – and, and Ted Cruz, to a certain extent, who's saying we've got to eliminate them. There's no – there's no negotiating with somebody who wants to cut your head off. Yeah, well, it's well said. I want to ask you, though, about how you're fitting in with your peers in Hollywood. I mean, a number of celebrities have said very publicly they'll actually leave the country if Donald Trump is elected president. I mean, the list is long. Uh, Nev Campbell, Whoopi Goldberg, Cher, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, what is your take on that? I will charter a plane for them, and they're more than happy to leave. Uh, I don't care. My country is everything to me. I have, a, like I said, an eight-year-old daughter who is going to inherit this country, and I don't care. I genuinely, in my heart, don't care. I've done enough in my life, uh, and I've worked. And everybody has, known, everybody has known that I'm a conservative my entire career, and I've always worked. I was just uh, going right to ask now, you that, Scott, because there's a lot of people who say if you're in Hollywood and you're a conservative, you're out of the club. You get left out of projects or it's harder um, to work with certain groups of people, even if you want to. Have you found that to yeah. be the case? I've never been in the club. I don't even know where the club is. All I know is that every show that I've ever done has made money for the studio, and that's really – it's a business. And we're in show business, and if you can make money for people – they, you know, they, they, they don't really look at what your political affiliation is. If you can make the money, they're fine. But again, if they want to leave, go. Uh, it's okay. I, I can watch The View without Whoopi Goldberg, and I'm fine. And if she wants to stay here with Hillary Clinton, I just wish that the liberals um, that, that sort of want to follow this, this, this doctrine of what the liberals are espousing now just give up their nice homes, their nice apartments, and their nice cars and give it to the government. And live in a one-bedroom apartment in the city, <laughs> but they won't do. They won't do it. So you're so, saying a lot of them are what we used to call limousine liberals. They're hypocrites. It's you know it's everybody else, not me. So me, I'm a capitalist. I believe in individualism. I believe in working hard and achieving. I don't believe in being punished for success. I think we should admire success. When I was a kid, you admired it. Now it's it's vilified as something bad. So you are not alone, as you probably know. Uh, another co-actor, friend to the show, Antonio Sabato Jr., very much behind Trump. Here's what he told us. Well, whether you like him or not, he's just he makes sense, you know. And uh, you got to appreciate the honesty that comes out uh, from Donald's mouth every single time. And uh, you know, I've been talking to a lot of people here in Los Angeles, and uh, they're backing him up, and they like the honesty. So, Scott, there's the honesty, but then you alluded to Senator Cruz. There is also Governor Kasich, but it sounds like it's the honesty, but then a willingness to fight for citizens that you feel like appeals to you about Donald Trump's campaign. It's a willingness to go after whomever he's going to be facing. I think Ted Cruz is a good man. I know John Kasich a little bit. I, have a long, I had a long conversation with him, but, and, and, I, and this is not a shot at them. I don't think they have the will or the nerve to attack Hillary the way that our nominee is going to be attacked. I think Donald Trump doesn't care. I think Donald Trump is a street fighter. And, and every time that we say that we, we as Republicans want to be above the fray and we don't want to get down in the dirt because it's not who we are, we get creamed. So what's the point of fighting that way? You've got to fight to win. And they fight to win, but we don't. Scott, love having you here. We thank you for your time. For your input, you. Scott Baio joining us there on the phone supporting Donald Trump.